Morning world, and welcome to Monday the 13th of February. It's a bit chilly this morning. Started. Um, yeah, I'm delivering delivering digger to Dave this morning. Oh. Just want to give the Land Rover a couple of minutes to warm up before I go. Right, I can go on and just warm up a second. So, so Deucen's out on hire for a week, ten days to Dave the builder. Uh, he likes to hire my machine, it's because I'm cheap. <laughs> something to do with mates rates or something. Um, so tomorrow is part one TB test for these guys. So when we get back, I'll have a bit of breakfast and then it's in there, all that's got to be taken apart. And then that, that's, sort of the bar's got to be dug out, cleaned out. Then that's got to be rebuilt, ready for tomorrow's TV test. So the other side is kind of already done. It's, it stays built. Um, I want to have a handling system on part of the farm that should there, be an should there ever be an emergency, I can just immediately get an animal into a crush. But uh, yeah, this side, this side we're going to have to build. What? What do you want? Hey? What do you want? You can't be hungry. Eh? You trying to tell me something? Eh? You want a biscuit? Is that what you're telling me? You want a biscuit? There you go. That's what you're getting. Sorry, we're not on the main road. What are you doing underneath there? Or is it just a case of you were there first and then 328 got on top of you? Is that what it is? Hey? They don't care, do they? Anyway, 40,000 subscribers. It took us a while, but we got there eventually. Um, the last hundred seems to have just taken weeks. Uh, we had a, a spurt of um, growth when we were doing machinery stuff. Everybody seems to want to watch shiny machines, which is fair enough, because there are plenty of channels out there with lots of shiny machines. But anyway, 40,000. So for everybody who subscribed, thank you very much indeed. Really appreciate your support. Um, don't forget to leave a like button on the videos because that helps the dynamics of the channel. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, well, now, now's your chance. You know, just down there, little red button. Give it a poke, you know, if you want to hit the bell as well. And then, you know, you'll get a notification. Although those of you know that six o'clock every night is there anyway. So what's the point? But if you want to be notified, you can. Right, tomorrow is TB test. Um, I've got some work to do before that. These guys in here aren't too bad. Uh, it doesn't take me more than about 10 or 15 minutes to set this side up. This is kind of already set up and ready to go. Not much need to be done over here, but in this side, I have to take everything apart and, well, rebuild it. Um, so this is set up for calving for a minute. I need to set it up for TB, which means all you lot are gonna have to go and sit in the sun. Sorry. Right, I have got the bail spikes on the Mustang, but that's okay, because the bail spikes work just as well as the pallet forks for moving this lot around.
wonder if I can get away with it. Right, I'm going to put a muck fork on a minute. Get on there. Use one. Get it together. So I, I don't need to clear a lot out, just enough that I can put the race in tidy. So uh, yeah, we're not gonna clean the whole barn. Down a bit. are just too close together. What I want is the gate behind. These little guillotine gates are really quite heavy. So... No, 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 no. Get off. Anyway. 
Well, I'm going to pick you up from the gate, I think, because you can't slide off there. Strings caught the bottom over there. There you go. Get you on properly. Right, I'm going to have to pick you up from lower down. So I've got to put you down again. Gently does it. And we'll have him from down uh, there. that gate in there for this one here all right that's what I want to do all right you like mind your noses mind your noses but right, off you go off you go there you are That gate, has he still got a pin over there? Hmm. Check. Yeah, he's still pinned there. Right, so I want a hurdle across there, that across there, I'm going to put, I'm going to take this gate first, out first, put that other gate in because I think he's a tad, tad longer, so I can move stuff around and then I can just basically build this as I go then. All right, yeah, fast forward time I think. You've underestimated everything I've been through I think you can't imagine all the things that I can do I see you on the pedestal you put yourself upon to I'm a wild animal here to devour you Watch this! Are you ready for The question is though Will the crush go in there? So I was kind of hoping, because we ordered a um, crush gate to go with this system. And for some reason, it's not arrived yet. So Edward, if you're watching, could you send it please? Um, it's not the end of the world, because I just used the crush, but um, I might have to adjust that out there as well. That's going to be a bit tight, I reckon, to open the door. One way to find out.
so. So I left that back hurdle in because that helps to support the calf pen. But the thing is, we're so close. That is enough room for an animal to exit. But they like to see a clear exit. I might have to take that down. Right, I really need to get that leg, which is the same as that leg, in there. If I can, if I can get it in there, I can kind of lock the crush into the hurdles. Right, let's try that. Gargling. So if I put you down in there now, lovely job. Right, and you can come out. Okay. Uh, there, like that. And then what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a second vet gate on there so we can get access through whichever way we want to go. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm about to run out of battery on this thing, so I'll tell you what we're doing. I'll come in there like that. What I'll probably do, I need to be able to split the barn into two. Animals that haven't been tested will be on this side in here and in that corral where we can push them up through. And everything that has been tested or jabbed exits that way and we'll keep the two separate. Because although it's not the end of the world if they get back together, we don't want to be doing it twice. So but that should now give the vet. This is the design we had in mind that, you know, if we've got an animal, say we're calving or we've got an issue for whatever else, the vet, we don't want vets climbing over gates, okay? They, they don't want to climb over gates. So if we can create a system where they don't have to, that's why this is called a vet gate. He or she can just move from one side to the other or inside without climbing over a gate. So, right, I'm going to take that apart and I'm going to use some of that and that one over there to make this in here. Yeah. You coming up then? Come on. Come on. Make a very good job of that, did you? Hey, no, you didn't make a very good job of that.
jumped out. You said you want to get out. Do you want to come back in? Come on, Em. Come on. Come on. Cover me in, bloody shit, why don't you? Thank you. Clean they were on this morning. Clean. I know I've got a pair of overalls. You ought to make your mind up, you do. She thought she saw a rat, so she had to get out. Then have a little mooch around the bales. Decided there wasn't a rat, or if there was, there was no chance of her getting it. So um, then I should stop and let her back in again. One of us needs to be reminded who's in charge. I don't think it's me. through the crust of the wet stuff on the outside but I'm into the dry now or dryer sure where you came from. Oh, no? Hmm. Lime, I reckon. Maybe Rabinia. But looking at that thready, stringy bark, I'd say lime. Right, they've been shut out for a couple of hours, so there's a reasonable chance there's going to be a bit of hooning around and, well, they're going to chuck it everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, all right, come on. Oh, that's new. Where did that come from? Behave yourself, you. No, behave yourself. Behave. Or I'll eat you. 